Following on from my chess piece tutorials, I realized I hadn't actually made the queen. So here's a quicker run through of how to make the queen chess piece. If you like what I do, then do check out my beginner course bundle. Get three amazing courses still at the incredibly low price of $25 for the duration of this series. Discount link in the description. So the first thing to do is grab your reference image. You can find these in the link in the description. Drag that in. Alt R and Alt G will remove any movement or rotation. To front view, RX90 and line your reference image up. We can use the default cube, into edit mode, M to merge at center. We've got one vertex, E to extrude out, and then trace around the extremities of your piece. Once you've done that, you can add a screw modifier in the modifiers, add modifier, and then screw. That will leave you with a shape like this. You want to click the merge, so it merges the top and the bottom vertex. And under the normals, calculate order, make sure that's ticked so you don't get any strange anomalies. The other thing you want to do is change these to 32. You'll see why later on. Now I need to refine my shape slightly. So back into front view, I can select all these inside type vertices and control shift B, move your mouse to the side, that bevels your vertices and it creates two. And then these sort of outside ones here, actually these want two as well. So I'll leave those with two just like that. But these ones here, if I press control shift and B and use the wheel of my mouse, I can create three vertices and move those into position. So these two as well, control shift B, three vertices, and you can scale them up and move them into position accordingly. Miss this one, that needs two. This one here probably only needs two. We'll see, actually three makes sense. And there we've refined our shape and it's looking very nice. Now it's a good idea to make a copy at this point because we want to apply the modifier, which is destructive. So if we want to come back to this point, it's good to have a copy. So into object mode, let's name this first Queen Original, Shift D to duplicate and left click. And then I'll just call this Queen One and hide Queen Original. So with Queen One selected, and make sure that is selected, I can click on the drop down and apply the modifier. Now if I go into edit mode, I'm left with this shape here. Now this queen is symmetrical in the X and Y, so we can add a mirror modifier. I use the auto mirror add-on, so edit, preferences, add-ons, type in auto mirror, and make sure it's ticked. That way when you press N to bring up your side panel, under edit, you'll have auto mirror just here, and I can auto mirror in the X axis on the positive, so this side will stay click auto mirror and the Y as well. The Y is on the negative because we want this side to stay, not the positive over here. So auto mirror again, that gives me two mirrors. I only actually need one so I can get rid of this and just tick the Y on the first one. And you can see the mirror there. So we can just work on this corner. And at this point, it's nice and easy. I can zoom in and these points here, not that one though, and these here, we just need to move them inwards. Now this isn't as easy as you might think. You would think pressing scale would work, but it just takes the middle point of these selected vertices and moves them together. So I'll undo that. Instead, I'll select the top point here, shift S to move my cursor to selected. And then if I come up to here, my transform pivot point, I can then choose 3D cursor as my pivot point. Now, when I select those different vertices and press S to scale, it will go towards that pivot point. If I press shift Z, it will take out the Z axis. And now I know it's going towards the middle. So I'll left click there. Now they do look a little bit high and I can just press G then Z to move those down to somewhere like here. Let's go into object mode and see what we've got. And that's actually looking really nice already. What happens when we add our subdivision surface modifier to smooth it out? So control one is the shortcut for that. Or you can go to add modifier subdivision surface down here. And there's my subdivision surface modifier and you can see it's smoothing it out. Let's put the levels up one more and see if we've got any pinching or any problems. That looks quite nice. What we can do though, is we can take this line here. I'll just turn on on cage so you can see which line that is. I'll go to edge mode and I can press control B to bevel that. Remember to use your wheel if you need to. And then I can refine this in any way I want. So this loop cut around here is now acting as our supporting loop. And if I press GG, I can sharpen up those edges just along here. I'll go into object mode so you can see that, that's a bit sharper. And this one here, I can GG to edge slide there. Control R to create a new loop cut here and GG to edge slide that one in. And you can see I can sharpen up those points nice and easily. Also maybe in the inside here, I probably want to control B to bevel those. So it's a little bit sharper in there and it's creating a really nice shape already. And you can adapt this as much as you like. So maybe this one, we can scale that in. Remember the 3D cursor is my pivot point. So shift Z and I can bring that in 
to create more of a curve like this. And I may not need this one anymore, so Control X to dissolve that one. And we've got a lovely shape just there. I'll hide my empty, and there we've got a great looking queen chess piece. So hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.